Hello and welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorials channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a virtual machine in KVM and configure static IP. Let's get started. In the last video, I taught you how to install KVM and configure networking. Please refer to the video. You can find the link in the description below. To list all the virtual machines created on a host machine, fire up the command sudo burst list space dash dash all. As you can see, currently there is no virtual machine. Let's see how to create one. As you might already know, to create a virtual machine, we need the ISO image file of the operating system that we want to run as a virtual machine. I have already downloaded the ISO image file and stored it on the downloads directory of the KVM server. If you are worried about where to get the ISO image file, go to the description below and click on the link. You will get it there. Here on the KVM server's home directory, I am creating a directory named images and copying the ISO image file from download directory to the image directory. Listing the contents of the images directory, we can see the ISO image file on the images directory. Now I think we are all set to create a new VM on KVM. To create a new VM and start it, execute the vert install command as sudo vert install name name of the virtual machine. I name it as KH master as I'm going to configure the virtual machine as the Kubernetes master dash dash OS dash variant version of the OS or variant of the OS that you are going to install such as the Ubuntu 22.04 dash dash RAM 2048 to allocate 2GB of RAM but if you want to give it 4GB or so multiple the number with uh, 1024 and write here dash dash disk and provide the location for the virtual disk uh, where you want to store and name the virtual hard disk with the dot img extension at the end device equals a disk size equals 200 this is the size of the hard disk in gb for this particular virtual machine format equals qcow2 the format uh, qcow2 refers to the qcow2 which stands for kemu copy on write version 2 disk image format qcow2 is commonly used in virtualization environments particularly with the kemu which stands for a quick emulator virtual machine monitor dash dash graphics BNC listen equals 0.0.0.0 which means listen for all connections just as no auto console which means prevent the automatic allocation of a console for a virtual machine just as SVM to enable full hardware virtualization just as CD-ROM and the location of the ISO image file oops a minor mistake I missed a dash dash boot here. I correct it and rerun the command. As you can see the installation has started and it displays the message domain is still running. Installation may be in progress. You can reconnect to the console to complete the installation process. Now head over to your KVM server and open the virtual machine manager UI. Right click on the virtual machine and click on open. Here hit enter with the first option being selected which is going to install the Ubuntu server as a virtual machine. Now you will have to answer a couple of questions and the installation process will complete. Here select your language and hit enter. Hit enter to continue. Again hit enter to continue. Here you might want to configure static IP on the network interfaces but I am moving forward with the DSCP as I will show you configuring static IP on the Ubuntu 22.04 later in this video after the virtual machine is installed and ready. Just hit enter on the configure proxy section. Again hit enter to move forward with the default mirror address selected. On the storage configuration, you can unselect set up the disk as an LVM group or move forward leaving it as it is and hit enter. Again nothing to do here. So hit enter to continue. Select continue and hit enter. Here you will need to fill up this form. Then maximize the window to view the hidden buttons. Make sure done is selected and hit enter. Hit enter to continue on the upgrade to Ubuntu Pro. 
in the SSH setup window, press the spacebar key to select and install the open SSH server along with this installation. Select done and hit enter. In the featured server snaps, no need to select anything here for now, so hit enter on done. Okay, we are almost done now. Wait for a few minutes to get the installation complete. Okay, the installation is complete. Select reboot now and hit enter. Now we can manage the virtual machines using the command line or bash terminal and using the verse command. To list all the virtual machines, execute the command sudo verse list dash dash all. As you can see, only one virtual machine is there on the KVM server and the state of the virtual machine is shut off. To start the VM, run the command sudo verse start and the virtual machine name. Checking back the status, it's running. To access the virtual machine console, run verse console and the virtual machine name. Unfortunately, we got an error, failed to get domain kids master. We will leave it for now and address it on a separate video. Now we need to know the IP address of the newly created virtual machine so that we can access it to the VM. To know the IP address, connect to the VM from the virtual machine manager on the KVM server. and run the ip space a command here we can see the ip address then we will configure the static ip let's go back to the kvm server's terminal and ssh to the guest machine or the virtual machine by using the command ssh your username at ip of the server if you are prompted for yes or no like this you should type yes and hit enter Type the password and hit enter. Now you should be connected to the virtual machine via the SSH and you should be able to manage the virtual machine remotely. The next task in the video is to configure static IP on the virtual machine. Change the current directory to slash etc slash net plan. Long listing the content, we can see a ML file named 00-installer-conf.ml We should configure the network king configuration including the IP addresses right on this file on the later versions of Ubuntu distributions. So let's open the file with a text editor such as bi. Here comment or remove the line dscp v4 and just uh, below the line add the IP v4 configuration as I am doing here on the screen. Make sure you are setting the correct IP address, gateway and name servers. Then save and exit the file. Then apply the changes with the command sudo netplan apply. Ok, I can see some warnings here. Gateway 4 has been deprecated. The changes have been applied however. So since the IP is changed, you may be freezed here at this point. If you are freezed, start a new session with the new IP address that you have set up just before. Again type yes if you are prompted like this as on the screen. Provide the password and hit enter. Then print the IP address to check if it is changed. Also check if the VM can reach the internet by pinging the Google or any other website on the internet. Everything looks working. Finally to get rid of the warnings and get our configuration working properly. Let's open the file slash etc slash netplan slash 00 dash installer dash config dot ml uh, type the password and hit enter. Edit the configuration as I do here on the screen. Save the file and exit. Then reload the netplan configuration using sudo netplan apply. Oops, I think there is a typo error. Let's correct it and check back. I think an indentation issue persists here. 
let's correct it and then save and exit from the file. Then apply the net plan changes. This time there is no issue. Last but not the least, let's verify once. Checking the IP on the interface, it's correct and checking the connectivity to the internet, it's also good. Okay friends, this is how we can create a VM in KVM and configure static IP. In the next video, we will learn how to put the VM into auto start in case of power outage or in case of the host machine reboots. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and see you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.